so welcome back to level plus angular series and in this episode we are going to work on the routing part for our front end that means on the angular side so let's open angular front end side that means now we have to open the terminal and firstly i will start the server so ng serve hyphen open and obviously a new tab for front end okay so we are working on the routing part and for the routing we need a router so let's create a new module so ng generate module and module name is app hyphen routing and this i will give a flat uh, flag which just going to put this file on app folder instead of having uh, instead of creating a new folder for this routing and then we will say module name is app so this means it will import directly that on app.module.ts we don't have to do that so let's hit enter and yes app.module.ts is updated and it is created so here we have app.routing.module.ts so this is just a simple module we have to make this module as a routing module so firstly we need to import something and we need to import and import name is like route module from the angular router and similarly just give a comma and route only route so these two things we need to import and let's import here so this import is for just javascript import and this is for angular import so import route module and now after this i have to say dot for root and here let's say app routes okay this is correct and now we have to create this app routes so here let's say constant of app routes is a route which is we just have imported here and this is going to have various kind of routes here and it is giving error i think because this is has to be routes not route and here i will simply create an object which is having a path of path if i go to slash login then the component i want to have associated with this is login component so let's import that at the top and the little mistake i have given that's why it's giving error is that app route is a type of route which has to be equal to these kind of things and that should be with a small c so component is this so this is the first route we have created and let's just check this route and i will go to chrome and we have this and it's having some kind of error we have so let's open terminal and open second okay it is compiled so is there any error on yeah invalid configuration of the route path cannot with start with slash okay so path cannot start with slash i'm not going to give slash happy yeah it is happy <laughs> okay so now if i say slash login it has to give login component but it's not giving you know why because we have created this but we have not told our angular that okay when you go here you get the login component but where you have to show that login component or whatever the component associated with the particular route so for that we need to give inside this app dot component.html i want every route or every component associated with the route to be just after this navbar so here we have to say route outlet or router outlet so this means if i go and it's refreshed and login works super easy things you can see we have created our first route so let's now go here and let's create some more routes and here we have to paste this and this has to be sign up and now the component name is sign up component now paste once more this has to be profile and profile component yep then we have a request password so request um, hyphen password hyphen reset so request 
reset component then once more the last one has to be response password reset and let's say response reset component so all the components are created and this is looking absolutely fine now if I go to profile yes it is working similarly let's use sign up that's also working and now we have to give a login a link to switch between this so now let's go to component and navbar navbar.component.html instead of this href I will say router link is equal to login yeah router link and if I click on login yes component is changed similarly we need one more anchor tag which is for profile so profile profile and yeah we have profile here and we have to just push these two at the right so let's give a div cut paste let's see the result yeah here it is so profile and login everything is working so these are the things we have created and in the next episode we will work on the login part and we will actually create a login the next part is the actual part where we are going to connect angular and laravel and these are the things we have done in this episode so let's now uh, go to any one of the terminals so that we can git add all git commit hyphen m where i will say angular routings so this is done then git push this is also done so if you have liked this episode please share these video with your developer friends so that everyone know how to connect angular and level and don't forget to subscribe like between on facebook twitter and instagram we will meet in the next episode till then goodbye